Good morning. This is Mike Torino. Today is February 22, and this is episode 23. Really nice morning. I think behind me, you'll be able to get a good view of the mountain once those clouds move away. It's nice and bright sunny. We're coming off a couple days of not hard rain, but it would just kind of mist all day and have some light rain, but we're making a lot of progress here now. I'll try to go over what we're doing and what we've accomplished since the last episode. Uh, for one thing, we're on the final stages of finishing all the rendering on most surfaces of the concrete block. The inside of the downstairs is complete. We're finishing up the overhang right here and we're starting to finish our drainage plans. The first part of the drain plan is a box culvert that's gonna surround the perimeter right off of the street from the curb to the property and I'll take you down there and show you that but it's going to be about 18 inches to 24 inches deep and probably 18 inches wide and it's going to be a reinforced concrete box that will also encompass the drains that we have coming off of the building so we'll have our storm drains our French drains our sump pit drain as well as the outlet for the septic tank they're all encased in the concrete wall of the box culvert so the box culvert is our, it's kind of our first line of defense from any kind of water inundation from a heavy rain or typhoon the second line of defense is going to be my sump pit that i'll show you we dug a sump pit in the directly in the center of the floor downstairs it's about almost a meter deep and probably 18 inches wide square with a gravel bottom and we're gonna we're gonna plumb that for electricity so we could put a one horsepower water pump inside of it that has a float so it's automatic and that will pump through a PVC line directly into the box culvert and then our third line of defense is a, a French drain around the inside perimeter of the first floor which also will drain into the box culvert. So I feel pretty good about not having any water coming in the garage. Could still happen depending on how, I mean, typhoons are typhoons. I feel pretty good about being able to pump the water that does come in. On the slight rain we had the last two days, at the highest point I got four inches of water in my, my sump pit which was good. I was happy to see that, letting me know that it does work. The water's there and today it's, you know, it's back to three inches and going down even without pumping it out. So that's a good sign. I don't think we'll have any problems with that. We have a big delivery of finishing items such as tile, a water tank, uh, more fixtures such as plumbing fixtures for the, for the CR. We also, uh, had a air conditioner specialist come out to do a survey. We're going to have up to three split type air conditioners. One outdoor unit will be up here on the on the roof deck and one will be positioned under the stairs behind me and then the indoor units will be facing each other on opposite sides of the garage. I'm looking at a three horsepower unit because I want to make sure that I'm not uncomfortable down there on the hottest day. That's important to me. So while we had them out here, we decided, hey, why not, you know, what's going to happen during the hottest day if we have a gathering up here and when people use the CR, I don't want them going in there and baking. So, so we are looking to get a one horsepower unit to put on top of the CR, maybe depending on what we think, you know, can it be handled with a fan or would it be nice to have a cool CR in case someone gets overheated or they just want to take a break and cool down, they can go in there. We have also have the electrician, he's pulling cable. So with that, I'll take you downstairs and show you around. I'm down here below the property right now because it's getting a little noisy up there. But just a reminder, I know it's it's hard to get some of the noise out of the video, but if, if that does get overwhelming, I always put captions on my videos. If you click down on your on your video there where it says CC and turn closed captions on, if it gets too loud, 
or if you just want to turn the volume off, depending where you are, you can still watch the video and, and read the cap. And change to this really nice one inch clean gravel that is really good for flooring. It's clean, there's no sand in it. So it'll drain well. It costs a little more, but I think it's worth it. So we're using this for the bottom of the box culvert, but more importantly, this is going to be four inches laid under the five inches of, of concrete in the garage floor. I think that'll be all for this episode. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the process so far. Anything you think I should do different, let me know, because I'm learning along the way. See you next episode.